The Friday game against Stanford was, uh, was a disappointing result for us. Uh, the, the, the score line 3-2 suggested that uh, we were in the game most of the time, and, and, and it was fair to, to say that. I, I think we were bit for, with a slow start. We came out slow. Credit to Stanford for coming out uh, pretty strong. Uh, we weren't able to neutralize them. They got up 1-0. But uh, after the halftime, we, we, we came back with some energy and were able to create a, an opportunity to through a penalty kick. And from there, I thought we had the momentum on our side. I thought we had them on their back foot a little bit, but we were unable to capitalize. And uh, sometimes when you have the momentum and you don't capitalize in the game of soccer, it comes back to bite you. And uh, Stanford was able to, to establish a couple of pockets of momentum in the second half. The third goal was a little fluky, um, but that happens. Uh, we, we, we fought to the end uh, as, as it was displayed with our our goal at the last, last minute, but uh, came away disappointed, uh, but I thought we took a lot of lessons into the Sunday game. The Cal game on Sunday was uh, all about us being, uh, being very aggressive, playing OSU-style soccer, and uh, I think we haven't got a positive result against Cal for, for a while. Uh, maybe the last time was when I was here the first, the first go around, and uh, it was sure nice to, to do that on senior day. Uh, in particular, because I don't think those seniors have had an opportunity to, to get a win. But uh, it was all about aggression, uh, about being in our comfort zone. I think we're in our comfort zone when we're, we're on, on the attack that way. And uh, it was displayed, uh, in particular, in our attacking opportunities. So when we did get up uh, against Cal, they, they, they had to chase the game a bit, and it left their back door open. And uh, we were unfortunate not to, not to put the score up uh, two or three more goals. But... Uh, that's something that we'll definitely work on, but I'm most proud of our guys to, in their response from Friday. Such a disappointing result on Friday, and for them to respond in the way they did to their attitude against a team that these set of kids haven't won against was a, a tremendous step of progress for this program. Um, I'm trying to have these, uh, these young men instill a belief in themselves that whoever they play against that they're good enough, and, and they, they did that on Sunday. So we want to take that, that momentum into Southern California this next weekend. This coming weekend against UCLA and San Diego State going to be uh, a, a very, very tough challenge. Those are tough places to play. UCLA uh, is sitting at the top of the conference right now. And um, similar to Cal, one of those teams that uh, I believe our, our, our team needs to really, really buy into that they can, they can beat. And I think, I think they can. And the Sunday game against Cal hopefully proves to have some momentum going into Friday night uh, against UCLA. And as you can recall, our first game against UCLA, we were up 1-0. And uh, if it wasn't for a couple of moments here and there, we're right there to, to get something out of that game. So we want to take that momentum in. I know both UCLA and San Diego State are in very, very good form. And so for us to get something out of that trip, is going to hopefully have some impact on postseason because we're very, very much in, into, that, into that mix because the Pac-10 is, is doing quite well. So we're going to be excited. We're going to go there to play to win and uh, just leave it on the table and see what happens.